because in the beginning we miscalculated the uh, my birth day and then finally we had the we got it right and uh, it was concluded that my my birth 66 years ago now 60 years have passed today I was born on this Ekadasi day which is a very big uh, day here in Pandarpur. There are one and a half million pilgrims they have come to Pandarpur. And of course there are Hare Krishna. We have five, ten thousand Hare Krishna devotees assembled here for celebration of Ashari Ekadasi, they call it, or Shayani Ekadasi. Today is a day the Lord uh, goes to bed for four months. So just prior to his depart, uh, his, his going to sleep, pilgrims come and they would like to take darshan of the Lord. So they come in big numbers. So it's a very big day for uh, Pandarpur Dham today. This is the biggest day, in fact, uh, for, for this Dham. So I was mentioning that I, I consider very fortunate, uh, or when, when in fact we found out some 10, 12 years ago that I was born on this day. I was very much moved emotionally, surcharged to know that Lord gave me birth on this day. And 1949, that was my birth, that is my birth year. It was Tuesday that I was born. And Tuesday is a day of Sri Ram. Ram had appeared on, on Tuesday. Krishna appeared on Wednesday. So because I appeared on Tuesday, Mangalwar, I think that could possibly be the reason why I was given the name Raghunath, which is one of the names of Sri Ram. <clears throat> so, uh, so all, all, all day there are festivities here. I think possibly some of you watched live on, uh, I think it was Mayapur TV or or and that one TV, uh, but mostly the the offer, you know, offerings were in in Hindi, few in English, also in Marathi. So and uh, so uh, possibly you you had been watching. So uh, we had this idea because. Devotees, those who are not present, and those who do not speak Hindi or Marathi. In fact, we had a hmm, Vashugosh Prabhu making his offering, my God brother, and he spoke in Sanskrit. So you, many of you, listeners, or my disciples or followers, or maybe some of you are friends, um, yeah, you, yeah, for yeah, so that you, I could say something in in your language. We had this idea of having a short uh, broadcast, <coughs> which we are doing. <coughs> so uh, I have no idea. <laughs> 
how many of you are there and where you are stationed, but I'm, I, I hope many of you are all able to see me uh, and uh, hear me. I wish you were here, but so we are, you are here and you are not here. Uh, for there was a Vespuja uh, book was offered to me and uh, your Vespuja offerings, if you have written one, it is, so your offering has reached me, uh, which I will be reading in coming days. <clears throat> oh, uh, So honoring spiritual master on Vast Puja Day is a is a <laughs> thing is eternal if not only ancient or old tradition on uh, Vast Puja Day because spiritual master represents Srila uh, Vyasadev. Vyas also meaning uh, elaboration or expansion. And spiritual master does expand, elaborate on, on the teachings of Vedas or the teachings or Shastras compiled by of Vyasadev, they could, they, they expand those teachings in the sense that they, they speak, the original texts are in Sanskrit, so the spiritual masters expanded by sharing that in a, in a regional uh, language that right there is a expansion or a, they may also be writing some books in pursuance of the Vedic version so that also makes them uh, representatives of uh, Vyasadev of course Vyas between Vyas and us there are many uh, acharyas, the disciplic succession. So uh, yeah, we, we represent Brahma, we represent Srila Vyasadeva, we represent Madhvacharya, then our Parampara, Lord Himself appeared in, in in that disciplic succession and then so many other Gaudiya Acharyas and then for us Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai, this confounder Acharya is the one that we directly represent and that way we are representing all the members of the disciplic succession and Gauranga and Advacharya and Srila Vyasadeva and Brahma himself. <coughs> so, uh, today we were remembering how I was made fortunate by the Lord as we hear Brahmana Brahmite, Korna Bhagavan Jeev, Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Beach. And uh, and I was yes yeah, so by grace of 
Krishna, I was brought in touch with Srila Prabhupada. Today I remembered and shared that, that how I was doing my college education in a district town called Sangli. But then I had this thought, no, no, I should uh, be a graduate of Bombay University. I should go to Bombay, which is now known as Mumbai. Because Bombay University has a bigger name, so that, that dictation from within uh, brought me to Bombay. And uh, soon after my arrival and as I was studying there, Srila Prabhupada had come with his followers from the West and holding big <coughs> Hare Krishna festival downtown Bombay and there was advertisement that there were sadhus in in town. Mm. American sadhus are here, European sadhus are here. Mm. So I had gone and uh, we're not sure, Indians were not sure whether uh, okay, they are being advertised as sadhus, but whether they are really sadhus. So, but we, I mean, I was, and I think everyone else was also impressed and convinced that Prabhupada's followers, wherever they were from, they were sadhus. Or genuine practitioners of Krishna consciousness. So as I was brought in contact with well, Srila Prabhupada and his followers, Sadhu Sang, Sadhu Sang, Sarva Shastri Koi, Lava Matra Sadhu Sange, Sarva Siddhi Hoi. So my life was transformed. I mean, I was kind of on, on this path. But uh, everything was concluded, everything was made clear and was conclusive as I met Srila Prabhupada. I mean, I did not personally met. He was on the dais addressing the gatherings and uh, he was there on the dais doing kirtan with his followers, or the followers were doing kirtan themselves in presence of Srila Prabhupada. So, uh, <clears throat> so that was a turning point in my, my life. I was reconnected, or my, my Krishna consciousness was revived and rekindled and I had bought some books, small books those those years. Lord in the heart and like that. It was just one chapter, one booklet. So I bought a couple of books and I was very much impressed with the the Kirtan performance of Hare Krishna Western mm. followers. So after the festival, I I was studying Srila Prabhupada's books, and whenever my roommates were not in the room, I would close the windows, doors, bolt them. And uh, I used to, just by myself, I used to chant and dance. And then, of course, it took me another year. Next Hare Krishna festival at Hare Krishna land. And Sri Prabhupada was there. 
and uh, I rushed to that festival. I got kind of my life back after one year. <laughs> Uh, 71, there was the first festival, and 72, the next festival at Juhu. So, uh, I had, yeah, opportunities, opportunities to hear Srila Prabhupada more. And associate with his followers more. And then I made up my mind to uh, And this is it. I I want to dedicate my life in service of Srila Prabhupada. I had had not accepted any other person as my guru in my life. So Srila Prabhupada was my first and last spiritual master. So I. So after the end of that festival, I moved into ashram uh, at Jehu. I had gone with the application address to the temple president, and I I was inquiring whereabouts of the president of Iskon, Bombay, and. In fact, the person I asked, where, where could I meet the president? He said, I, I am the president. <laughs> so I handed my application. And uh, he was kind to read it right, right there. And then he made a big declaration or announcement. Oh, the new bhakta is here, new bhakta is here, and all the sadhus, most of them were American, European, they came running and they were delighted to know there's someone is wanting to join Hare Krishna movement or some young, young man. So I was accepted in the, in the fold. And then later on during that year, during Karthik, I was I was duly initiated by Srila Prabhupada. You know, I think you know these these things. Many some of these things probably you have heard before. <coughs> so uh, So whatever I am, I'm made up of mercy of Srila Prabhupada. I'm indebted to Srila Prabhupada that he showed me this path. He gave me the mantra. for my deliverance and gave me my life back. Life without Krishna or Krishna consciousness. We said that during the day also that it is that's, that's a death or you're dead without Krishna and Krishna consciousness of so, Srila Prabhupada gave me Krishna, I mean Krishna consciousness. Yeah, gave me employment in service of Krishna. Gave me association of devotees, my god brothers, god sisters, and later on. Disciples also came into the picture. They also became part of Prabhupada's family. So, uh, so 
So I'm grateful to Srila Prabhupada. I want to express my gratitude on this occasion, this day. <clears throat> and then we also said that uh, I'm, well, in this gone initiating spiritual master or instructing spiritual master. However, Srila Prabhupada is, as a founder Acharya of Hare Krishna movement, is a principal Siksha Guru of all of you. And uh, <clears throat> so I'm indebted, and as well as you are also indebted to to Sri Ravapath, what he has done to you. So we are indebted, as I said, I am indebted. Once when Sri Prabhupada was approached and asked, oh, uh, yeah, the devotees, disciples for expressing the sentiments, we are indebted to you, Sri Prabhupada, we are very much indebted. And Sri Prabhupada agreed, yeah, that's true. And the devotees, they wanted to know if there's any way they could become free from this debt. And uh, Sri Prabhupada's First response was yes, no. There's no way you could be free from this debt. But then he thought for a while, a little, little while, and then he said, "Yes, yeah, one thing you could do." And uh, what? What? Shilapabad, what could we do? And he had said that time that you do as I did. So. <clears throat> We know what Srila Prabhupada did. So many things, so many, many, many things he did to, to uh, establish Krishna consciousness movement or to protect Krishna consciousness movement, to propagate Krishna consciousness movement. So you do I, as I did meant we also, his, his followers, his direct disciples, and then also his grand disciples, we have to try to do as he did. I mean, you also as disciples, you also try to do as your spiritual master is doing. And, uh, <clears throat> Then Sri Prabhupada would be pleased. He will be pleased with me, he will be pleased with, with you all also. Mm. Yeah, so there's so much to do to propagate this Krishna consciousness movement. And uh, that is where you all we all, you all, come into the picture. Then Narottam Das Thakur said, Ekaki Amar Nai Pai Bol Harinam Sankirtane I by myself cannot propagate, spread Krishna consciousness. I need help, I need... So, you are assisting us and then we are in Parampara assisting Srila Prabhupada and then he's assisting his spiritual master like that. So these assistance, these services are ultimately offered to Krishna and uh, he is pleased. Yasya prasadat bhagavat prasado yasya o prasadan nagati kutopi. So there's a principle is Guru Tattva, huh? 
um, one of your God brothers, Sundar Lal, he was saying, Guru Tattva is so deep and fast, I, that it doesn't, he doesn't fully grasp or understand this. Guru Tattva, you know, as there is a Vishnu Tattva and there are other Tattvas, there is a Guru Tattva. You know, Guru has a big role to play in the lives of disciples and followers. So, uh, <clears throat> so on this occasion, I, I thank everyone who is helping, assisting, cooperating with, uh, with our Krishna Conscious activities, plans to pro propagate Krishna Consciousness. Yeah, I, I thank as well as I appeal further that continue your, uh, your support. Of course, yeah, whatever you are, you could also offer your support. Stay busy in propagation in practices and propagation of Krishna consciousness. Keep chanting Hare Krishna. Uh, devotees were saying, you know, Happy Vas Puja Day Maharaj, Happy Vas Puja Day. Uh, so my response was, yes, I also wish you happy life, happy journey. You, you chant Hare Krishna and you be happy. So let us propagate this mantra, this message far and wide. There's so much suffering in this material existence. There is no end to it. So many problems, but the only solution is Krishna Consciousness. So somehow we have been part, brought in contact with Krishna Consciousness movement, Krishna Consciousness. We are in contact, we have received Krishna Consciousness. So it is our duty, our obligation to share that with as many fellow human beings, fellow beings as possible. Srila Prabhupada, <coughs> in one letter he wrote to, in fact, the President of India, President of India, and he said, I have got a clue. Uh, and what is that clue? Is uh, uh, When I leave this body, I'll be going back to Godhead. I have this clue. And he said, I I want to bring as many fellow citizens with me as possible. And he was, of course, seeking assistance of President of India. This is way back in early 50s, he wrote this letter. <coughs> so Prabhupada has made a lot of noise, as they say of this going back to Godhead, back to home, back to Godhead, back to home, back to Godhead. So, let us propagate this Krishna Consciousness by doing so many, many things, so many varieties of activities are there for you to stay busy with. and. Uh, and this is the topmost welfare. So, uh, I need to stop here. I had to go back on the stage and we have a second session, more offerings, and uh, some cultural events, etc., are also going to take place.
this late afternoon and this evening. So I I offer my best wishes.